This is Sarit Zahavi from Israel. I'm addressing you after two days of fighting when we had about 700 rockets that were launched from Gaza to Israel, endangering 1.7 million Israelis. Uh, alerts, sirens, running for shelter, 240 rockets that were intercepted by Iron Dome. This is the Israeli experience in the past weekend. Would you live like that? Would you run for shelter every hour during your wedding, during taking a shower, during going to school, uh, or where you are at work, when you only have a few seconds to run for shelter? Would you raise your children like that? After this violent weekend, many of us are asking ourselves, what's going on? How come? What is the mechanism that actually uh, bring Hamas and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad to create escalations against Israel again and again and again? The surprising answer is actually Iran. In our speaking engagements in Alma, we usually claim that the boss in Lebanon, uh, in South Lebanon, is actually Iran, that the boss of Hezbollah is Iran, that Iran is taking over Syria. But now, I want to claim that the boss creating these rounds of escalations from Gaza is actually Iran. Iran is the supporter, Iran is the one who encouraged that. Maybe Iran even direct uh, these uh, groups of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad to create these kind of escalations against Israel. In order to explain that, I want to go back to a little bit more than a year ago when Hamas started a project named the March of Return. During this protest of this March of Return, every fr Friday, Thousands of Palestinians marched to the border, uh, allegedly to cross and ask for different uh, conditions of life uh, from the Israelis. Just to uh, remind us all, Israel has uh, withdrawn from Gaza in 2005. We have, haven't got a single Israeli soldier in Gaza uh, since then, except for a specific military operation that we had in order to stop Hamas. Uh, launching rockets against Israel. In this past year, uh, since this march of return started, this was not a quiet protest. We had demonstrations, we had about 1,000 rockets that were launched from Gaza, we had um, explosives, we had balloons that are being used for a celebration of birthday to the children, where explosives were attached to them, kites, uh, that children love to play with. Explosives were attached to them and they were sent from Gaza to the Israeli side and actually burning our fields. Some of them landed in kindergarten uh, or inside the communities next to the border. So actually in the past year, not only in the past weekend, Israeli children in South and Israel had to run for shelter uh, and were very much afraid from what Hamas was doing uh, in this march of return. After almost a year of uh, unrest in the israeli Gazian border, Iran summoned uh, the Secretary General of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad and actually replaced him with somebody else. The name is Ziad el-Nachel. This guy, Ziad el-Nachel, went to Iran and met with the Supreme Leader of Iran last March. When we try to understand what exactly happened in this meeting, we see uh, what the Supreme Leader of Iran told Ziad Nachel, and he said, uh, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, if you will not resist, you will not win. Actually, he directed him to continue the attacks against Israel, which explains what is actually happening now. When the March of Return uh, demonstration failed to take in Israel to war, Palestinian Islamic Jihad launched uh, one single rocket, two single rocket to Tel Aviv, north to Tel Aviv, and then the past incident in this weekend when Palestinian Islamic Jihad uh, with snipers targeted two Israeli soldiers which were a few hundred of meters uh, from the fence of the border. When we speak about Hamas, which is the one who controls Gaza since 2007, uh, we should not forget that also Hamas has very close connections to Iran and is supported uh, by Iran. Another indication to the Iranian involvement in Gaza 
is actually when we look at the Israeli policy with what happened in the past weekend, when Israel, uh, for the first time in years, used targeted assassination and killed the spearhead of Iran in uh, Gaza Strip. His name is Hamed al-Khadri. He uh, used to transfer money uh, with large uh, amounts of money from Iran to Hamas and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. At this point, it is important to emphasize the Shiite Iran actually support the Sunni, Hamas, and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. How come? Well, look, this is important to explain. Though there is a Shiite-Sunni war going on in the Middle East, though Iran is fighting brutally the Sunnis in Syria and elsewhere uh, in the Middle East, Iran is willing to uh, cooperate with Sunni proxies, with Sunni Palestinian organizations, in order to fight Israel. So actually, if I may put it this way, Iran will fight Israel until the last drop of blood of the Palestinians. This is Sarit from the Galilee Israel. Thank you very much for being with us today.